Welcome to Kinesiology Chris, I'm Chris. Today we're gonna do a quick video explaining the reversal of muscle action. Susie, go ahead and uh, press play. Got it. Come on, Susie, slow it down. Calm down, it'll be okay, I promise. Okay, so let's begin. If you have a muscle and you lay that muscle down and it contracts, both ends of the muscle will move towards the middle equally. All right, so now we're gonna attach a cement block to one end of the muscle and a piece of wood to the other. Now, when the muscle contracts, you'll see that the piece of wood moves towards the heavy cement block. It does this because the cement is heavier than the wood, therefore, the wood moves first. The same thing is happening inside your body. One portion of the muscle will attach to the heavier, more stable portion of the joint. This is known as the origin. And then the other side of the muscle will attach to the more movable portion of the joint. This is known as the insertion. Let's look at a side view of an arm. Okay, throw the biceps on there. All right, so the biceps attach to the scapula, which is located in the trunk of the body. It also attaches to the forearm, which is located away from the trunk of the body, or distally. Uh, I think just using our common sense, we can figure out that since the scapula is in the trunk of the body, it's going to be stronger and more stable than the forearm. Therefore, the attachment to the scapula is going to be our origin, and the attachment to the forearm is going to be our insertion. Now, in most cases, the insertion moves towards the origin. Like if Mr. Uh, sidearm View here wanted to get a glass of water. Now, you'll notice the insertion is moving towards the origin. And after he's done quenching his thirst, Mr. Sidearm View decides he wants to get his workout on, and he does some pull-ups. Now you'll notice as he's doing his workout, the forearm, or the uh, insertion point, is now holding on to a stronger, more stable object. So the origin gets pulled towards the insertion. This is known as reversible muscle action. It's also important to note that the same motion is actually occurring in the joint, it's just a different segment of the body is getting pulled. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I would love it if you saw some of my new stuff coming out soon. And, uh, happy studying, my friends. Well, hey, maybe if you paid me, I wouldn't mess up on purpose. Oh, I mean, accidentally. <laughs>